Thomas Cocorellis went to prison for the 1982 murder of a woman who lived here in Elmhurst. Now he's a free man despite efforts to keep him locked up. For Lori Ann Borowski's mom and brother. She was my big sister. This is a day they dreaded. I'm shaking at the thought that this murder is walking free among us. Mark Borowski's older sister was only 21 years old when she was abducted, tortured, raped, and murdered by members of the so-called Ripper Crew, among them Thomas Cocorellis, who was later charged and convicted of Borowski's murder. I never, never let a day go by where I don't think of Lori and what she went through. Cocorales was sentenced to 70 years in prison, serving 35 after receiving credit for good behavior under now defunct sentencing guidelines. It's awful because you don't know what he's going to do. You don't know where he's at. Lorraine Borowski's terror now likely resembles the terror felt by many back in 1982 when the four men raped, murdered, and mutilated as many as 18 Cook and DuPage County women. All four were convicted and sent to prison, including Cocorales' brother Andrew, who was executed in 1999. Thomas Cocorales pled guilty to Borowski's murder. Part of that deal included dropping charges against him for another woman's death. Her murderer did not receive the justice that he deserved. Because Borowski's murder was sexually motivated, Cocorales must register as a sex offender within 72 hours of his release. One of his brothers, who lives in this northwest suburban apartment complex, tells me he doesn't know where Thomas will go, adding he hasn't spoken or communicated with him in years. Another brother could not be reached for comment. It makes me feel sick to my stomach. There were reports that Cocorellis was going to move to a western suburb, but tonight I spoke to the deputy chief of the police department in that suburb who says he's had no word, no indication that Cocorellis plans to move to that municipality. So until he registers and he has three days to do it, his address will remain unknown. In Elmhurst, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News.